Hey everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a, another speed build. Today we are in Forgotten Hollow and we are rebuilding um, Stroud, or Stroud, Stroud um, uh, Mansion. I like to call it Stroud Manor just because Stroud Mansion's a little, I don't know, feels a little weird to say, but you know, that's what EA has called it, so that's what well, I will call it Stroud mansion this is where um vladislav i think i'd never know how to pronounce the name i just call him vlad um i feel like a lot of us do because i mean good on ea for picking a really unique name um but no thank you not today satan um so i and i think a lot of other people in the community just call him vlad but yeah so if you don't know so this came in Forgotten Hollow comes with the game pack uh, Vampires, which honestly I think is one of the best game packs in The Sims 4. I generally think they do Supernatural so good in The Sims 4. I just think they're all like the best versions that they are. Like it's just oh, love it. So I decided I want to rebuild his home just because let's be honest it's not a bad build it's just a really weird build it's just so I don't even know how to explain how weird it is it's I don't know so I went in and wanting to make it look a little more gothic I guess which it is a little hard to make um, true looking gothic builds in The Sims 4 just because you know unless you use CC or something that's because you know the developers really I mean, I don't think they really have a desire, or really, I guess you could even argue a need to be giving us more uh, gothic stuff. But I, I would love some true medieval gothic stuff. But you know, for now, I'll handle. I'll take what I get. I will take um, this. Um, I think the packs I used the most on the exterior are vampires. Um, a little bit, a tiny bit of Discovering University and Realm of Magic. And then on the inside, oh my god, the inside's a mess. Whenever I do these big builds like this, I never ever really constrain myself. Um, especially for like ones like this where it's like a really important sim, um, like Vlad, because uh, he is kind of the oldest vampire in the game. He is also just one of, I don't know, he's very important if your sim becomes a vampire, you get like a little like welcome message from him, which I think is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's what I decided to do, is just give him a better home, something a little bit more gothic, and I was not limiting myself when it came to packs, just because I, I didn't really see a point. You might disagree, you might be like, no, you should always limit yourself, but I'm out here like, nah, nah. <laughs> um, but I did have a lot of fun building this. Um, I do think it's, I don't want to say it's like one of my best builds, but I definitely put it up there. Um, I end up really loving how it comes out. It's very gothic, very uh, dark um, looking. It's not super medieval, it's definitely more of a, like a, um, 19th century kind of gothic look which I think I'm fine with just because um, the inspiration for uh, Vlad definitely comes from Dracula and then in that novel that does take place in the 19th century um, not that he himself is a 19th century figure in the book he's like a medieval um, he's been around since like the medieval period so like but you know this is definitely more maybe his um the home he moves into because if you don't if you haven't read Dracula Dracula is sometimes what we refer to as a um invasion horror um and that's horror about um the fear of outsiders invading I think generally speaking the more com the more popular version of that is more with um aliens or I guess not even more pop just more current um but you know and even at the time I don't think they really when uh Dracula was being written I don't think the author really intended it to be this um 
invasion horror story, but that is kind of what it came out to be, which I think really speaks a lot to just um, kind of the political era of the 19th century, because there also was a lot of um, prejudice against immigrants during that time. There's a lot that happened in the 19th century that's a little relevant now. Just saying, um, you know, we got conservative parties warning you about the evil immigrants and whatnot. Um, but, but, you know, enough about that. Let's, let's get back to the build. Um, I always feel like in all these videos, I'm always just trying to sneak in some politics. Um, so, but yeah, speaking of that, the idea that, you know, because in Dra the Dracula, the novel, he does move um, to England and buys a home. And I'm, you know, so I, it, well, he buys multiple homes, actually. But, um, so maybe that's it, maybe. And in this, it, there does seem to be some indication that within Vlad's little bit of lore that we have, that he did move here with, like, early settlers and, you know, killed them all. Um, yikes. But, um, I was about to say. I for, totally forgot. Oh yeah, so there's, I guess, definitely maybe a, um, you could be like, oh, he moved here and bought this home. You know, Forgotten Hollow, um, stylistically does, has a very, um, kind of Victorian Gothic feel to it. Definitely when I went in and I, I've pretty much renovated all of it. I just need, need to renovate one more home and then build a... I want to build my own starter home. I don't really like EA starter homes, uh, but every time I do a home on a starter home budget, I realize how hard it is. And I go, you know what, EA? For all the shit I give you on your starter homes, let me say, these homes are pretty... Like, you do a pretty good job. Um, also, there's been some weird things, like as we all know, in Strangerville, which I still defend is one of the best game packs in history of The Sims. Um... There is a the issue where they like took this a, a base game home and reused it like that was lazy, and then there was an issue in the um, Sigworth house. Is that their last name? You would think I know, seeing as I love that pack. Um, I very rarely play with Sims pre-made townies. I usually kick them out unless I love them, like Bella Goth or uh, Vladdy here, Vlad Daddy. Um, Oh, or, K or the Vators. Um, strange, I like did not care for the pre-made sims in Strangerville, despite loving Strangerville, but then I'm out here like, vampires, th those are the best pre-made. <laughs> um, anyways, um, in Strangerville, there's an issue in that house where, the Sigworth house where it w the kitchen was not usable. Um, so that was fun. Um, very, very strange. <laughs> very on brand, I guess. Um, but, you know, we don't, we don't discuss those little messes. <laughs> um, anyways, um, getting back to the build. Um, one thing, um, I had re really wanted for this. Once again, make it more look a little bit more gothic, make it a little bit more sinister. Because um, I feel like there was an issue with the, ori the original build. It's just such an odd shape, especially in the back there. And I don't know, I just... I was never really into it. There's parts of it I did like, um, which I barely kept any of it. Like, I really did like the open... Um, like the balcony looking over the living room. I did not really keep that. Um, there is a tiny balcony from the main room. It's not super usable. It's definitely more for aesthetic. Um, so keep that in mind. It's not the most usable. It's, yeah, it's, there's some messes. Um, I don't see messes, just, I don't know, things I liked about the original. Definitely when I rebuild, homes in The Sims 4. Um, I, there's, if there's something I like about it, I try to, um, 
to to capture it or to translate it and yeah that just was not happening with this build and i think that's because the outside shape of the house is what i hated the most um and that's what i changed the most <laughs> And because of that, the inside had to drastically change. And there's some things I did add that I really like. I really like that little walkway um, with the arches. I don't really know, like, how much people are going to want to use that. As well as I have a little courtyard here, which I feel like maybe you could do vampiric um, sparring in. I don't know if there's enough space, but I feel like there might be. Because you don't really take up that much space when you do that kind of sparring. And then uh, there's a basement that I do. Ooh, I really like the basement. It's more like a crypt, the 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 Stroud clip, uh, crypt. I mean that that's where I assume um, Vlad he would sleep, and I kind of have him uh, have his own little area that I guess like in my mind like this is where he sleeps, and it's this really um, cute. Uh, or not cute, it's really creepy. Um, but like it's pat, like you go through like two doors, you go down to the basement, go through two doors, and he has like his really nice, elegant coffin. And then above it's like that little gargoyle man sticking out from the wall. Um, but yeah, oh, I like I said, I had a lot of fun building this. I've been having a lot of fun with my save file in general and just going through each world and being like, okay, what needs to be fixed? Um, and I've been trying also recently to do a little bit more of renovating than just full out building because um, it is less time consuming as well as not all of EA's builds are bad. Like I recently did um, the Shakers and Movers renovation where that pretty much stayed the same. Um, I just made it one floor instead of two and then uh, gave it a basketball court. And then probably a few others and I might just end up more like renovating than getting rid of all together. Just because, I don't know. That's just something I think um, that's fun to do also to like look at the EA builds that you kind of don't hate and be like, okay, well what can be fixed? What can be improved on? And that's definitely, um, I don't know, and I definitely originally thought about maybe just renovating this lot of knocking down all together. But I realized it's really the shape I hated, and I was like, yeah, no, it's just gotta go. And I'm a lot happier now with the current shape. Um, I feel like it looks, it feels a little bit more like a castle, which is what I wanted. Because um, beforehand, I don't know, it just didn't really feel like a castle. It didn't really feel like this is where a count lives. That this isn't, you know, it just felt so bland. <laughs> um, not even, uh, I guess not bland. Just not intense enough. Um, here I slapped down some windows from um, Discovery University and Vampires. Just I, I just love those windows and even though they're not super gothic, they kind of have the illusion of like gothic feel, which is just what I really wanted. Um, here like these little hallways I created are kind of useless. And I do apologize for that for anyone um, who downloads this. That there are there is this kind of like walkway that goes around the courtyard. And that's really just a hallway. I did end up putting a um, a meditation um, seat pillow thing. I, I don't know what they're called, but the things that you can do meditating on in that hallway just to make it a little bit more useful. Um, but other than that, it's kind of just a hallway. For the sake of being a hallway um so that's fun love that for her but other than that um the kitchen uh the dining room's a little small i probably could have picked a smaller table but i was like no this home has like i think f four or five bedrooms like there's two oh there's only four i think actually or maybe five Nope, there's only four bedrooms in this massive castle. Um, to be fair, the master bedroom is really big, and I guess if you want to count the crypt as another one, you could count it as, but I'm not. Um, just because I don't want anyone to download this and then go, there's only four bedrooms! My sim's not going to sleep in the basement in the crypt. 
Um, which, I mean, like, I don't know why you wouldn't want that. I feel like all Sims would love to sleep in a coffin from time to time. You know? Um, <clears throat> I end up also using the windows from Vampires a lot, which I don't use that often. I really like them, but I just feel like they're so, I don't know, specific. It's hard to use them in other builds, so I did have a lot of fun. Um, sorry, someone's trying to text me right now. And I'm like, that's rude. I'm doing my voice over. I mean, like, yeah, I guess I could stop and redo it, but at this point, we're already like, what, 15 minutes in? Might as well just plow through it and get back to that later. Um, here, in this build, we have, um, two, like, library study areas, um, which I'm pretty happy about. They are on kind of, like, two different spots, and neither of them are that big, which is kind of annoying, um, because also when I think of big castle, like, of this, I think of big, massive, um, like, library slash... Um, oh my god, um, am I, like, dying? Can't think right now, sorry. They have these big, massive library slash, um, studies, but this one has two kind of small ones. Um, I don't think either, one of them has bookshelves, one of them just has a computer. Um, so, love that for her. I end up also, it's not here in the video, but I end up putting in some of the stained glass from Realm of Magic in, and really I just did that because I used it in the, the moon swatch, um, because for one I just thought it looked really cute, as well as, I don't know, it was very mysterious and dark, and I feel like it kind of fit the vibe I was going for, um, as well as it also just gave it a little bit more of a kind of gothic feel, and it gave it a little bit more, um, a little more something. And I think also where I also build some pretty other big Victorians, um, in the town area, um, you know, we have, like, the Vitor house, and then, um, one of the many versions of what I call Stark Manor in my save file, it's called something else. Um, because that was before we got Realm of Magic, and I was still using mods to have, to make my witches. Um, now that we have that, they look glimmer broke in a beautiful ma manner. But, uh, for those who don't know. Um, but, I don't know, I really wanted this to stick out a little bit more and feel a little bit more special. So I was like, you know what, we'll throw on some, we'll throw some in, we'll throw in some nice, um, stained glass, make the house a little bit more fancier, a little more, um, exciting. And there I put down the stairs, and I end up here I put a door from Realm of Magic that I love. What I also love about that door is when you look at it through the right angle, since I used red wallpaper in the living room, it has, like, this beautiful, like, vibrant red coming through the glass. It's very pretty. Um... Who would have ever thought I'd describe Flat's house as pretty? Here I'm splitting up um, the house a little bit more, getting the floor plan. So there are no bedrooms on the first floor. There's um, two on the second floor. And then the next two are on the third floor. One of them is very small and definitely I think would work better if you had like a butler or something. Um, and then, oh no, there's, oh yeah. And then um, one on the second floor is pretty small too. Probably could have swapped the bed out for like um, a single bed and not a double bed, but I was like, yeah, no, we, we ain't here for that. And then, we have the master room, which I'm setting up the floor plan for now, which I do really love how the master room came out. Like I said, it does kind of have a porch balcony area, 
um, that can look over into the living room that's kind of pointless. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, and then we have one other room up on the third floor that's pretty a pretty good size. So I definitely say if you're if you want to move in your Sims here, you could probably do, um, you know, you could probably do a few vampires living in the basement. If you, I mean, if you don't want to play as Vlad, um, some vampires living in the basement, maybe some people living, um, what a couple maybe living in the master suite, a single Sim living in the small purple room, and then the. Um, the bigger room on the third floor could be for one or two sims, and then the one on the fourth or the third floor. Or is it the fourth floor? Oh my god, it might be the fourth floor. There's like there might be four floors here. Um Who would have thought that I made a four floor did I? I honestly don't remember. Um nope, there is one on the fourth floor. I keep lying to you. No, there isn't. Why don't I remember this build? Did I not build it? Am I okay? Probably not. Um, well, I mean, if we watch the video, we'll find out. <laughs> um, this voiceover is a mess. I apologize. It is on the fourth for the other bedroom. I just remember it is. It's on the square tower um, by the courtyard. I remember now. Who would have thought I built this and I can't even remember? Um, <laughs> something's happening, kids. Um, but yeah, you could have about three or four vampires living in the basement, um, or just one. And then there's the master suite that said could fit two comfortably, the purple room that could fit one comfortably. There's a um, like a tan white room on the third floor that could fit people pretty com like one or two comfortably and then a room for like a butler um which if you don't know how to get a butler you have to you um they're only accessible through the um oh my god what's that pack called the fancy party whatever it's called um oh my god i can't remember what it's called but either way it's one of it's a stuff pack um it's one of like the few stuff packs that I actually am like, yep, that deserved to be a stuff pack on its own. Um, and even that sometimes I'm like, mm, did it, but it came with a butler, so I'm like, that's pretty cool. Um, and you can hire the butler and they come and live in your house and you can assign a bed to them. Um, I think if you sign, if you don't sign a bed to them, they don't stay in the house. Um, here's where I also decide, um, the tower on the coming up from the third floor there was just going to be on its own originally I thought like that could be another room but I ended up just doing this thing that I do a lot sometimes when I don't make big enough towers I just delete the floor and hang like a big chandelier so that's just kind of like this big um kind of cool space it's not super like it's not a good use of space um I'm not here to claim it's like in a very economic or economic um, way to use your space, but like, you know, here we are doing it anyways. Um, let's be fair, whoever lives here is probably extremely rich, flamboyant, and a little ridiculous. So yeah, it would make sense that they would be a little, uh, a little crazy. <laughs> um, I struggled a lot with the stairs getting them up to the fourth floor. Um, the way stairs works in The Sims 4 is a lot better than it used to. Um, it used to suck. And I still think it could be better. I definitely wish we had spiral stairs or a way to make stairs not take up so much space. But as of right now, that's not a thing. But I do like that we have configurable stairs. It makes it, it change the game completely. Um, and because of that, I was able to make the very tiny room in that tower. Which also, like, I mean, you could use that tower for anything. Maybe if you want to do, like, a Beauty and the Beast kind of story. And maybe that's where your bell lives and the beast lives, I don't know, in the big master suite on the other side. Or maybe he lives downstairs. I don't know. I don't know. I... 
I ain't here to judge. Maybe he lives down in the crypt. That's his prerogative, his choice. That's up to him. Good for her. Um. But anyway, so I think I'm about to wrap up around here. Make sure to download it off the gallery. My username is Jamie Horn. One word, as well as check out some of my other builds on there, as well as check out some of my other speed builds here on my channel. I try to post every few days. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I got some big news for that one. Fuck you, won't burn my